Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your
sing We're gonna get real loud Let our voices ring We're gonna party We're having fun With Jesus Christ He's God's only son Now everybody From the front to the back Put your hands in the air And clap, clap, clap Seeing old friends Making new friends Here with Jesus We're connected Congratulations on your first day as captain, Alyssa. We're all so proud of you. <laughs> thanks, guys. And thanks for putting so much work into a party for me. We couldn't have done it without Jaden. She's really good at organizing things. <laughs> it didn't take much work. Don't sell yourself short. I love it. <laughs> thanks, Captain Alyssa. <laughs> Don't you have a big surprise lined up? Oh, right. I think I left it down in the basement. Um, distract Alyssa. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Is everyone okay? What just happened? Your first day as captain would start with an earthquake. <laughs> we, we are Connect, Connect HQ. HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name's Alyssa, and this is the time we all learned how to be wise. Um, so what do we do now? That's a good question. <laughs> right, I'm the captain. <laughs> I'm the person who's supposed to tell you what to do. Do you know what to do? Yes. Yes, I remember. After an earthquake, the first thing you're supposed to do is check for damage. So why don't you three take a look around Connect HQ, and I'll see if I can get the lights up and running. What do we do if we find damage? Try to fix it. If not, come and get me. I'll check the group rooms. I'll check the lounge. I will uh, take the basement. <laughs> it's not going to take long to fix the lights, right? I hope not. Maybe take a flashlight just in case. going to take forever to clean up. <sighs> Everything looks pretty good in here. I I think we have a leak. Thank goodness. I don't know what I would have done if you'd have ended up on this dirty basement floor. I should probably see what that's all about. Jaden, what are you doing? Oh, there's a leak in one of the pipes under the sink. But that doesn't explain the duct tape. Yeah, I've never fixed a sink before, so I didn't really know what to do. But I thought that if I wrapped enough duct tape around the leak, it would fix the problem. Jaden, I love your willingness to help, but I don't think duct tape is the way to go. Oh, I was afraid you'd say that. What should I have done instead? Well, 
Anytime you don't know what to do, it's best to ask for wisdom before you take action. Ask for wisdom? What do you mean? Well, wisdom means following Jesus' example. And the great news is, God gives us wisdom when we ask Him for it. God gives me wisdom when I ask Him for it? That's right! God gives me wisdom when I ask Him for it. And asking an adult you trust for help is a great way God can give you wisdom. I think God is telling me that I don't know how to fix a pipe. So the wise thing to do would to be ask you for help. Great job, Jaden. So, how are you going to fix the pipe? No, uh, well, I've seen Mike fix the pipe a time or two. Yeah, okay, let's see. Oh yeah, he uses this. It's called epoxy putty. We can use it to plug the leak. <laughs> it's so cool how you know how to do stuff like this, Alyssa. It sure is. Alyssa! Alyssa! I need your help, because there's paint everywhere! Okay, I'll be back as fast as I can. Wow! I know! It's a mess! Paint got all over my hands. How am I supposed to clean up all this? Okay, first, Dot, calm down. Second, I know the room's a mess, but what's bothering you so much about it? I was supposed to make two transmission videos today. Those videos are important. The last thing we needed was an earthquake messing everything up. Okay, take a deep breath. <sighs> Let's say a verse together, okay? You'll feel better after, I promise. It's from the book of James, chapter 1, verse 5. Say it like this. James 1, 5. James 1, 5. If any of you need wisdom, if any of you need wisdom, ask God for it. Ask God for it. He will give it to you. He will give it to you. God's ways are wiser than our ways, Dot. He made the whole world, and He knows everything that ever has or ever will happen. No matter what happens to us, God's still in control. Even after an earthquake. Exactly right. So anytime you're confused or overwhelmed, ask God for wisdom. He'll never let you down. I think God is telling me I can't do this on my own. Will you help me, Alyssa? <laughs> of course. I think I just need to go talk to Jaden about... Oh, boy. That, are you, Mike? Mike, I know you're suffering from the tragic loss of that massive gummy bear, but I think we have bigger problems. Like what? Did you not notice the crack in the floor? Oh, yeah. Oof. That's not good. It's probably a foundation issue. What's a foundation? You know, I think Jesus talks about foundations in the Bible. Uh, oh, here. Take a look at this. This is the story. In the Bible, we find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. See the wonderful stories inside. Every day I'm searching me through history. is alive. Matthew. Jesus was on a mountain teaching everyone all about how they should live their life. Jesus lived a perfect life, so he wasn't just telling them a good way to live, he was telling them the best way to live. In fact, he was telling them how God wanted them to live. Jesus said that anyone who listens to his teaching and chooses to live God's way is wise, but anyone who refuses to listen to him and lives their life their own way is foolish. Then Jesus told them a little story to help them understand what he meant. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The storms came and the house still stands. The wise man built this house upon the rock The storms came and the house still stands The 
foolish man built this house upon the sand The storms came and the house fell flat The foolish man built this house upon the sand The storms came and the house fell flat Yeah now, Jesus wasn't talking about houses or weather. Jesus was showing us the consequences of choosing to live God's way or your own way. If you follow Jesus' example, you are building your life on something strong and secure. When trouble and hard times come, you won't be shaken. If you try to live your life your own way, you are building your life on shifting and shaky sand. When trouble and hard times come your way, it will feel like your whole life is falling apart. So. What will you build your life on? Let's sing this song together one more time. The wise man built this house upon the rock. The storms came and the house still stands. The wise man built this house upon the rock. The storms came and the house still stands. Foolish man built this house upon the sand The storms came and the house fell flat The foolish man built this house upon the sand The storms came and the house fell flat Yeah See, buildings need a firm foundation. If the foundation's weak, you'll end up with cracks, like this one. Oh, that makes sense. In our life and in our choices, when we choose to follow Jesus, God becomes our firm foundation. When we use wisdom to choose God's way instead of our own, we can't be shaken, no matter what hard things come our way. Like the loss of the most beautiful gummy bear I've ever seen. Uh, sure. Alyssa, I need you to help me search for other cracks in the basement, because I, I can't be alone with... Sorry, Mike, but I need Alyssa to help me upstairs. <laughs> no, I need her help, too. But I'm going through personal loss. I have a lot of things. I have a lot of things. I have a lot of things. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I need to think. How's it going? I don't know. Ray was so wise. She would know what to do if she were in my shoes. I just don't know how to be as wise as her. Wow. I thought only kids like us were the ones who need more wisdom. Definitely not. Adults aren't wise overnight. We all have room to grow. It's a step-by-step -step journey for all of us. Alyssa, what are you doing? I'm taking a step. I'm asking God to tell me the wise thing to do. I've been trying to help every time someone had a problem, to fix it myself. That's not what wise leaders do. That's not what Ray did. She encouraged us to do the things God made us good at. We should all do the things that God made us good at, Mike! Yes, Captain. There's a leak upstairs in the lounge. I need you to fix it. I can fix the leak. I'm on it. Jaden, if you could go to the Whatnots room, I think you'll find a challenge worthy of your organizational skill level. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds like fun. I do love organizing. <laughs> and Dot, I need you to go down to the basement with me and check for more cracks. Why me? Because you're not emotionally attached to a gummy bear. True enough. I'm Captain Alyssa, and I have a great verse I want to share with you. Say it with me like this. James 1, 5. If any of you need wisdom, ask God for it. He will give it to you. All of us need wisdom. The good news is God will never let us down when we ask for it. He's happy to share it with us. When we act wisely by following Jesus' example and teaching, it's like building a house on a firm foundation. No matter what hard things we face, nothing will be able to knock us down. But if we build a house on a weak foundation by choosing our own way, things might not work out so well. Sometimes it might seem like people older or smarter than us might not need wisdom, but guess what? We all do. And because God knows everything that's ever happened or will happen, 
No one could give us better wisdom than Him. His ways are always wiser than our ways. So the next time you find yourself confused or overwhelmed or trying to do things your own way, remember this. God gives me wisdom when I ask Him for it. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. I want to thank you all for gathering here for the funeral of Mr. Gummy Bear. I want to start this three hour long service with a video. It's a tribute to his life. Even though it was a funeral for a gummy bear, it was a really beautiful service. And kind of weird. Today we learned how to be wise no matter what we face. And the first step to becoming wise is choosing to follow Jesus as your leader and number one friend. Do you want to make that choice? If you do, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that decision today? If so, be sure to talk about it with the parent or leader you trust. 